Let's talk about what gets seen. Post on Instagram. It will show it to a small group of people and then measure that initial engagement. So that is why it's so important that people, the first time you put something out, are liking, commenting, DMing, sending it to a friend, and you are going back immediately thereafter within a certain time frame. Instagram won't say if it's 10 minutes, 10 hours, or 24 hours. But the important thing is to incentivize people commenting sooner. Because all of a sudden, if Instagram says, oh wow, we showed it to 20 of her followers and four engaged, that's pretty good. Let's show it to another 20 and see if the same thing happens. More and more and more. Which is why when you look at your feed, there's some posts you're like, wow, this one did really good. I must have posted at the right time of day. No, the content was just better than the other stuff. Okay. Urban Beach House. So I went through this like a consumer. I am legitimate. I actually bought a lot of stuff when I was here. I bought some lunch, I bought some clothes, I bought a hat. I buy, hopefully my husband gets the clue and buys me a little piece of jewelry on the way out too. Um, I am a shopper. I couldn't tell what Urban Beach House did. Urban Beach House, Del Mar Plaza, the headquarters at Seaport Village, one Paseo, home decor. I was like, oh, I think they saw home decor. The question then becomes, the question you have to ask yourself is based on my bio, do people know what I do, sell, or create? Do they know what I do, sell, or create? So I went to the Instagram feed, and what you're looking at on this side is the first nine photos that I saw and the second nine photos that I saw. And I'm like, oh, I thought it was home decor, but I'm not sure anymore. So then I said, like a natural consumer, and studies have shown that when we go to Instagram, you have less than seven seconds to actually convey what your business does and where that person wants to stay and if they're going to follow. So that took me to looking at the very first post, straws that give back. Still not quite sure. Thanks for sharing at the headquarters. We we're loving this picture. Still couldn't figure it out. So. Let's dive in to fixing a bio, right? Because this is a critique. A criticism is saying what you're doing wrong. A critique is saying what we could do better. Collectively, y'all, if we go back and we say you have a thousand followers, think about this, you guys. A thousand people, one thousand people want to see what this account does. In freaking incredible. How can we make them stronger? How can we start converting? There's gonna be five steps to what I call a boss bio on Instagram. This is your storefront. Number one, get focused with your title. How should people do, be describing you? When I went to Urban Beach House, I was like, is it home decor? Is it party goods? Is it crafting? Wasn't sure. So what I want you to do is I want you to explain what you do like you're five. Because that's when people immediately get it. So I am a photographer and I see a lot of other photographers saying that they're purveyors of fine family heirlooms that last legacies. And I'm like, what? You're a photographer. You take photos. We need to be as simple as possible. So in your notes, if you're writing them, what is your title? I mean, and I'm talking like one or two words. Explain it to me like I'm five because we only have 150 characters. So first part is your title and description. Number two of five, list the benefits for your followers. Why should people follow you? Because the thing that we have to have principally, foundationally, is people are following you, not for you, they're following you for them. What do they get from it? So if you're not leading with what they get, you're missing an opportunity. So if I was, if I was um, the, home, the home goods store, I would maybe, perhaps, why should somebody follow this account? Home decor tips, California gift ideas, transcending tastemakers, gift wrapping tutorials. I don't know, I still don't know what the business quite does yet, but when you say, follow us for home good trend setting items, follow us for an insight of California gift giving, like, tell me why I should follow you. You're gonna start increasing your followers because they know exactly what they're getting for them. We have to remember, and this is, I said it earlier before, our Instagram account is not for us, it's for our followers. If we're putting out content because it makes us feel good, flip the script and say, what's gonna make them feel good? What's going to make them feel a certain way about my business? Number three, who is your account for? Now, I get it. Everybody in this room says, my account is for anybody who walks down one paseo. I get it. That's a very luring temptation. But how many times are people walking into an ice cream shop and saying, I want vanilla? Very few people. When somebody goes in and wants a very specific flavor, I know salt and straw is here, I see y'all, they're going in for like the big, the big stuff, the unique stuff. When something feels tailor-made, 
When something is says, we're, our account is for busy moms, young entrepreneurs, single dads, fashion lovers, freedom seekers, identify who it's for. You will attract other people, period. It's the internet. But there's something luring about saying, we serve this demo, done. You will attract other people. There is something incentivizing and in saying, I'm self-identifying as being a freedom seeker. I'm self-identifying as being a mommy entrepreneur. Great, serve me well. I'm coming in as a pre-qualified Instagram follower with a higher likelihood of becoming a customer. When an account feels like it's tailor-made, they will become faster customers. I have never been the person ever in my life to say, I'm gonna teach you a hack of how to get a thousand followers in the next week. Heck no, run away from those people. Run away from says, sign up for my bot because we'll automatically like photos in a hashtag. Sign up for this app so we can leave comment. No, run so far away from that. What we want to do is create tailor-made stuff so people feel that personal connection. The fourth piece of five of a boss bio is your contact and location information. I know it seems so basic, but y'all, I went through Instagram accounts and I'm like, why aren't you hashtagging one paseo? Like there's over 3,000 posts in there. Like that is like prime real estate for your stuff to be getting seen and it's like free. When, you are a, when you're a physical location, email, phone, address, hashtagging a location, so easy, not done. Number five, this is what I call a party favor. You can call it whatever you want, but I like, you know, I like a little party. Give a gift, get a connection. So here's where, a, well, I will defer from a lot of other people. I will say Instagram is just a tool. It's not my mechanism. I do not depend on Instagram for the sale. I depend on Instagram for the connection. My objective is to convert them on the back end. If anybody is familiar with email marketing, this is how you get people in the door when everybody during the holidays is bombarding with ads on Instagram.